Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. Guys, I got an exciting video. It's about, you know, when things aren't working for you. Um, we're going to talk about beliefs, creating beliefs, changing beliefs, and, and, you know, what this might actually be blocking you. So I know it was something that was blocking me. So I'm going to share that with you as well. So yeah, this video is for anybody that wants to speed up their manifestation or make any manifestation happen. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. So before I dive into it, guys, we are giving away a free course, How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. The link is in the description below. It's a great course. It's going to help you to be able to identify what thoughts you need to change and help you to build your mental diet. And it's got a lot of do's and don'ts in there. Um, you know, like questioning. Questioning will actually stop your manifestation from coming. So um, yeah, it's a free course. The link is in the description below. Also, by signing up for the free course, you join our mailing list and you'll actually be the first one to know of any promotions, sales that we're having. Um, because yeah, we do like to have sales and we like to have sales quite a bit. So, and guys, yes, if you guys want to get rid of the third party, I do have a course. Actually, it's an affirmation track, how to get rid of the third party. You can listen to it on a loop, you know, and it also, I say every intention once and then I repeat it a second time so you can say it with me. Um, yeah, so definitely check out the link in the description below for that. So let's dive into this. So one of the things that I found important when manifesting is having integrity. Now, when I say integrity, you know, we think keeping our word. Yes, keeping our word to others is important, but integrity and keeping our word to ourself, okay? That's what's more important, okay? Because your words matter. Your words are a commitment. Your words are a declaration. Your words create. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about basically saying, look at having a, a you know, saying, look at, you know what? I'm going to be a millionaire by working hard. Okay, boom. You're going to have to work hard to be a billionaire. Okay. So you want to watch what you're committing to do to get something that you want. Okay. You, you really want to be careful of what you're actually committing yourself to do because you're going to have to actually do that to get what you want. So you can't say, look at, you know what? Um, I'm going to, you know, I have to lose five pounds before I'm going to get into a relationship. Then you're literally going to have to lose that five pounds before you're going to get into a relationship. So what I say is, is don't create those for yourselves. Don't create commitments for yourself that you need to fulfill in order to get something because you can lose five pounds and have a relationship all at the same time. You don't need to work hard to be a billionaire. Okay. So you can be like, look at, you know what? I'm a billionaire and I never had to work hard for it. It came to me easily. Okay. So watch what you create that you have to do. If you say, you know, the belief that you have to work out every day and watch what you eat and stick to a strict diet to lose weight, then that is what you are going to have to do. Okay. So no, you say, look at, I lose weight easily and effortlessly. I always make great food choices and I always get plenty of exercise. Okay. And it comes easy to me. It comes naturally to me. I never have to work hard at it. It's so easy to me. Okay. So start creating that. So when you go to take a look at say, you know, for instance, shifting your money story and starting to shift money coming into your life, right? down all of your beliefs okay you know i know when i was shifting my money story one of the big things was you know it's like you've got to work hard for money and i was like wait a minute i'm like do i do i really want to work hard for money no i don't want to work hard for money so i intend money just flows to me easily and effortlessly i never have to work hard for anything that i want especially money money just flows into me okay okay what about you know for instance money was evil was one of my beliefs right because you know you see those movies and there's always the evil person that's got all the money and they're all <laughs> so i was like i thought to myself i'm like is money really evil and i was like no i've never seen a five dollar bill get up grab a knife and stab somebody i've never seen a five dollar bill do it so money is not actually evil i can do good things with money because i'm a good person okay so okay there we go that was done so go through all of your beliefs that you have around whatever you're manifesting you know like it's like you know it's like um you know if, for instance a belief is like you know um you know, guys never want commitments. Now you're going to have to get guys that never want commitments because, you know, not only do you have to have integrity with your words, the universe has to be in integrity with your words and it has to deliver exactly what you want. So everybody has to conform and be in integrity with your words. Everything in your universe, right? All the people out there will automatically show up with integrity to your beliefs and assumptions of them. They have to, they have no choice, that's the law. But you need to be in integrity with your words. So if you don't want to work hard to be a billionaire or work hard to be rich, then you're gonna have to change that to, 
I'm rich and I didn't have to work hard for it. It came to me easily and effortlessly. I barely lift a finger. Like whatever your beliefs are for the area that you want to change, okay? So it's about having integrity to what you're actually creating. So if you create, okay, that you have to do something to get something, then you're going to have to do that thing. But you don't have to create that you have to do that thing. Okay, you can have whatever you want right now because you're perfect, whole, and complete just the way you are. You don't need to create anything. You don't need to change anything. You don't need to change that you're skinnier. You don't need to change that you're smarter. You don't need to change that you're, an ed you're educated in a certain area. You don't need to change any of that. Okay, you just start manifesting that you have it and that you get everything to get what you want, right? Like you have it, you have it now. I mean, what does that look like for specific situations? I mean, every situation is going to be a little bit different, right? So, you know, it's what you story you create to be believable. You know, for instance, one thing that comes to mind is like a job. You're like, okay, well, what about you know, a job where you need education. Okay, well, why not intend that there's on the job training and they give you education on the job? Or why not intend that, you know, that there's like a paid apprenticeship for you to get that education? Okay, so there's ways around, like, you know, you just got to be creative with what you intend. You can also start intending, like, look at, I don't care how I get it, I'm just going to get it. <laughs> right? You know, I don't care how it comes about. But if you do that, then, you know, you got to make everything that comes to you to be a bridge to get to there, right? But the main thing that I'm talking about is watch what you're binding yourself with. Watch what you're creating to have to do to get what you want, okay? And, you know, if you are creating, you know, say, for instance, you want to say, well, you know, every day that I walk, you know, at least 15 minutes, I maintain my weight. Okay, boom. If, if you want to do that and you can commit to that and stick to that and you're okay with that, then great. Then stick with it. Commit to it. No problem. Okay. But if you don't want to do the 15 minutes walking every day, then don't create that you need to do that. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? So I think sometimes, you know, this does block us, you know, that, that we create, you know, things and beliefs that, you know, that we need to do and to fulfill in order to get what we want. And then if we don't do and fulfill that thing, you know, we're not going to get what we want, no matter how many other intentions we throw on there, because we've got to be in integrity with our words, with what we commit to, with what we create. We need to be in integrity with that. Just like with everybody else, they're in integrity with whatever you create of that. So being integrity with yourself is basically saying, hey, you know what, <clears throat> I'm a hard worker, so I get this, okay, and then believing you work hard, so you're going to get that, or, you know, saying, well, look, at, I get this easily and effortlessly, I don't need to work hard, okay, but whatever you're creating to say about yourself, being that, okay, that's the important part, right, so, you know, I know I there was somebody I knew years ago, and they used to take like, I'm not sure some kind of weight loss pills or whatever. And they said, as long as they take two of those a day, that they maintain their weight and they lose weight easily. And they did, because that's what they believed. They they created that they needed to take those pills in order to, to maintain their weight. And when they stopped taking them, they would gain weight. And they're like, oh, I got to go back on my pills. And then they would and they would lose weight again, because that's what they created in order to have to do to get what they want, right. So you can do that. Or you can just say you lose weight, you know, you can do it any way you want. But the point is, is if you create a certain way to do it, make sure that you actually do it. Okay. Because it'll block you. It doesn't matter what else you say. If you're not following through with what you said you would do to achieve something, then you're not going to achieve that thing because you do need to be integrity in integrity with your words, your thoughts, your declarations, right? To the universe. So anyway, I intend that was crystal clear for everybody and that everybody gets something from it and you know if there's one takeaway that you get right now is look at your perfect home and complete and there's nothing that you need to change about you to get what you want right now all you have to do is say that you're good enough to have what you want and it's coming to you easily and effortlessly okay anyways my friends we'll see you in the next video Bye bye